Bella and I'm going to do a stop motion animation class with you. I'm really excited to share with you my passion for animation and this is a really good opportunity for you to turn your love for arts and crafts into something digital that you can share online. For this class all you need is a phone and you have to download an app which I will tell you about next and a few objects from around the house to turn into characters. So what is stop motion animation? Stop motion animation is a type of animation that is made by using objects and a camera. One small movement is photographed over and over again until you have lots of photos that are put together and create an illusion of a film. It makes any object that is not alive look real. There are no limits to what you can create you can use any object in the world, for example, a stapler, a flower or modelling clay. To do this exercise with me, I need you to download this free app. It's called Stop Motion Studio. Depending on where you live in the world, you might not have this exact app available. But if you type in animation apps, I'm sure you will find lots of other examples that are similar and for free. So this is the Stop Motion Studio app. It's really easy to use and I'm going to show you how. To start a new project, click New Movie. As you can see, it's got a camera and it will film what I point it at. I'll explain how to animate later, but all you have to do is press this camera button and it will open up the animation screen. So I will click to take a photo and you just keep taking photos and you can see at the bottom I have taken four photos. Eventually when I have lots of photos press the back button and you will see your photos at the bottom of the screen. You can scroll along to see how your animation is looking. If you want to go back to the camera click the camera here. Let's say I take a photo that's wrong. My hand is accidentally in the photo. It's going to ruin my film. So I pressed back again and I can see it on the photos. To get rid of it, I tap and I press delete. And there's still one more there. So tap, delete and back to filming. For extra help on how to animate, when you're in the home page, press this little question mark and it will bring you to loads of really helpful information. So I've showed you how to use the app and now I'm going to show you how to come up with an idea and set the scene. You can use any objects found around the house. So I've got a stapler and I've put some eyes on it and made it into a crocodile. I've made my second character out of a highlighter pen and I've stuck some eyes on it as well, just by cutting out some paper and putting some sellotape around the edge. And then I've made another crocodile here with a clip. So you can use anything around the house. It could be a, any stationery, it could be objects from the kitchen, it could be your favourite cuddly toy, it could be all of your makeup with little eyes on and you can animate them to talk to each other. In animation, it's all just photographs. In professional animation that you might see on the telly, it's 25 movements for one second. So we go, take a photo, take a photo, take a photo. And we would do that 25 times just to create one second. But that's quite a lot of photos. So we're going to do six photos a second. So I've come up with a story where my stapler, the crocodile, is going to chase my pen. So it's going to run and they're going to run along and it looks like the crocodile might eat the pen. But at the last minute, my third character, the second crocodile, is going to come and chase my crocodile away. So that's my story. So what you need to do is come up with a story for the objects you have chosen. They don't have to be alive, it could just be moving objects, but the moment you put eyes on an object, it does create it into a character, which is quite fun. So now we're going to set up our camera. 
Ideally, we would have a tripod, but I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to make one myself. I've got a box that's quite heavy. It's got quite a lot of stuff in it, which means it can hold my phone up without it falling over. So you need to try and find something small and heavy. So as you can see, my phone is now standing up by itself and it's nice and still. So when I press the pictures, it will be nice and smooth. However, we haven't really fit the crocodile in. So I need to lift my camera up a bit. So your next task is to find something such as a couple of books that will give it a bit more height. And there we go, I've got a makeshift tripod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a bit of sellotape onto my paper so that when I animate it, it isn't moving around. So one piece at each end. As you can see on the screen, I've not got my crocodile character in the screen yet. I want him to come in himself. So I'm going to start by taking six photos because remember, we're doing six photos for one second, just of the scene. So that's six photos taken. Now the animating begins. Bit by bit, I'm going to bring in, with really small movements, my crocodile. Animation does take a bit of patience, because if you move the object slowly, with little movements, you're going to create a better animation at the end. Whereas if you just move your, your object into the middle of the paper, straight away, the whole animation will be over in about a second. Now I want the crocodile to start to look at the camera, so I'm going to turn him around a little bit. And remember that more photos mean a longer animation. So you can see here, I'm just taking some of him being still. I'm just going to show you what we've got so far. So as you can see, he's coming into the scene at a really nice pace. It's because I've done lots of small movements. So try to remember to do six photos for one second. So to continue, I'm gonna press on the camera button again. Now I want my next character, the orange pen, to come into the scene. So I've put him just out of shot, he's not in the camera. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn crocodile back a bit. What I'm going to do now is the crocodile wants to eat the pen but he doesn't want the pen to see him so he's going to walk out of the picture until the pen gets a bit closer and then he's going to come back in like a surprise. So whilst the pen is moving forward the crocodile is going to go back. So the pen is having a nice walk, maybe it's a nice sunny day and he's just enjoying his free time. But then our crocodile is going to sneak back in. So we can see on the edge of the screen he's just coming back in. And the pen hasn't seen him yet. This is the moment where the pen is going to see the crocodile. So it's going to be like a dramatic pause. So I'm going to take quite a few photos to make the time longer. Sometimes your camera might move, so you just move it back where it was. And maybe the pen is going to faint because he's so shocked. But then he quickly gets back up And now the pen is going to run away, remembering to do lots of small movements. 
And just as the pen is about to be eaten, our third character, the friendly crocodile, is going to come and save him. As you can probably just see, the crocodile, the second crocodile, isn't quite all in my camera yet. So it does mean that I can snap his mouth without my hand being in the photo. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move his mouth open very slowly. And he's going to chase him away. And the pen is now just watching. And the crocodile will continue to run away. And the pen's going to go for another little walk. Okay, so the crocodile is now out of the animation. We're going to create an ending where the pen and the crocodile are going to celebrate that they're both alive. So I've got them into the centre of the picture and I'm just going to make them wobble, move around a little bit because when you put all of the photos together it will look like they're dancing. Remembering to try and take as many photos as you can. And maybe at the end the pen will celebrate and jump onto the other crocodile and then jump off again. And that is the end. And let's just watch a short clip of the start of our film before I show you how to edit sound. So you can see that we've got our animation and it's really nice just like that. But I want to add a voiceover. So I'm going to press the little microphone button here and I'm going to press record. What it will do is it will count down three, two, one, and it will play your animation. So you can make the noise or the talking, anything you want at the same time. I'll show you how to do that now. So what I'm going to do now is you're going to watch me do the voiceover for my film. So let's see how it goes. Du, 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 du. Hello. Du, du, du. Ooh, I'm a pen and I'm just going for a little walk. Ah, a crocodile! <coughs> and I pressed stop. Now I get to see if it sounds good. So you just saw me doing some silly voiceovers that I had fun doing. So let's see if it worked. I'm going to press play. Du, du, du. I watched it all and I saw that it was good. So I'm going to press done. Now when I press play, it will show the animation and my wonderful voiceover. If, for example, you decided you didn't like it and you wanted to change, you can see it's got a blue music icon on the frame where I started. So you can click on that and you can press audio and it will come up with what I've got and you can press delete. But I'm not going to press delete because I like it. So to get my animation off this app and into my phone camera roll, I'm going to press back to the home page. I'm going to press select in the corner I'm going to select my film. In the top left, you will see there's an export button. It's a box with an arrow coming out of it. So I want to export movie. And it's going to say, when I scroll down, save video. And now it's going to export it. What you'll find now is if you go into your photos it will be in your camera roll. So I've gone into my videos and you can see it is here. All ready to show you. So this is when you can then share it to your friends, your family or to Discovery Summer. We would love to see your creations.
Do 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 do. Hello. Do do do. Ooh, I'm a pen, and I'm just going for a little walk. Ah, a crocodile! Ah, must run away! Must run away! Don't worry, I will save you! Ah! Thank you for saving me! Woo! Hooray! So I really hope that you enjoyed my stop motion class. I had a fantastic time playing around with some ideas. I hope that you can download the app and have a go yourself. The great thing about this is you can just keep making film after film. Don't just make one like I did, make loads and loads. Do it inside, you can do it outside, you can do it with your friends and collaborate. Absolutely anything is possible. So have fun.